No, no, Callie, this is serious. Uh, uh, Elmo, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Super, super fun. So there were some videos before this. I'm not sure what they're going to be, but they were before this. You can go look if you would like to. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram at that interest you you know and so fabulous before we get into today's video today's video is sponsored so let's get into the sponsorship so today's video is once again sponsored by NordVPN. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. So let me tell you a little bit about NordVPN. NordVPN is a VPN service. Um, a VPN is basically something that allows you to be sort of um, incognito on the internet and allows you to um, put the position of your computer at different places in the world to get access to different information. So NordVPN um, and a VPN service is used for lots of different things, but how I primarily use it as a way as, as a way to um, elongate the list of content that I'm able to watch and to diversify my watch a little bit. Sometimes US Netflix gets a little bit boring. Sometimes US Disney Plus gets a little bit boring. So I can change my location on NordVPN and be able to watch a whole bunch of different shows. You can watch, like for Netflix example, if I want to watch Scream Queens, um, if I want to watch Superstore without ads, if I want to watch like the, all of the Shrek movies, I can just change my VPN and not have to worry about having to potentially buy the movie now to watch. I can just click a little button go to a different country, go to a different country, and watch something different. Um, you can also, if there are shows that release at a certain, di at a different time zone, in an earlier time zone, you can switch your VPN to then and get the episode a little bit early. So what makes NordVPN special as it's as a VPN service is it has really super fast servers. I never have any problems trying to connect to anything. It doesn't take a delayed period of time to connect to anything. It's a really easy, in really easy user interface to use. It's not complicated. All the buttons are right there. Um, you can have up to six simultaneous connection so I can have it on my computer and my phone at the same time. There's double data encryption for increased anonymity and there's also a 30, back, 30 day money back guarantee so if you don't like it you can get all of your money back and there will be no problems. It also protects your data while you travel if you're traveling around the world right now and there is a cyber security suite which acts as an ad blocker so we don't have to deal with any of that nonsense and of course if you ever get stuck there is 24 7 customer support so you'll never have to warrior fret. So if all of that interests you, you can use the link in my description box to um, get a two-year plan plus an additional discount. Um, and if that interests you, you can click on that. Thank you so much again to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video and make sure to click the link in my description box if you'd like to try out a VPN service. All right, we are back. Today we're talking about another television show um, that came out so long ago, but I just, listen, I don't need to explain myself to you. I just had time to finish it um, and rewatch it because I liked, I rewatch shows twice before I make these videos. So I'm not just talking out of my ass. So that's why it took me so long. So I'm talking about the show Arcane today that came out, I think like two, three months ago. It's a show on Netflix. Okay, my disclaimer before I start. I don't know what the fuck League of Legends is. I don't know what that is. I could not describe to you what that, I know it's related to this game, not this game, to this show. I could not tell you how, I could not tell you why, I don't really care to know why or how. So we're going to leave it at that. So if you were clicking expecting video game analysis, this is not the place for you. I play The Sims. Okay, now that that is settled, we're going to be talking about Arcane. So I'm going to give you, okay, I started Arcane because I saw my mutuals on Twitter talking about it, and these are mutuals that have recommended me good TV before, but I didn't, because but they were recommending it and not saying anything about the show. So I was like, do I really want to watch, this is, how long, sorry, I think my, I have to order a new primer. Anyways, this is not even the prim I bought a new primer and this is not it. Anyways, so sorry, back to my point. I didn't know what the show was about, so I'm telling you this because I went into this show not knowing anything about the show or what it was about, and I still found it really good. I didn't find it like complicated or anything or like too out there, so I just wanted to say that. Um, I don't even really know how to describe the show. It's about a lot of mess, kind of like fantasy. It's like a video game, basically. I need a new primer. 
I need a new primer. That's all I learned from this conversation. So we're first we're gonna go through all the characters and then share some of my thoughts at the end. I first want to start off with the adults <laughs> on the show and then we'll go into like the younger people because they're not all they're like some of them are adults I'm just separating it by like this is cohort age like 30 up okay so the first people that I want to start off with is just a quick little shout out to the enforcers I don't really know what you're enforcing I don't really know how you're enforcing anything I don't really know how you're the cream of the crop security for this great city if 10 year olds can outrun you powder was outrunning you so I don't really know what you want from me and if you want any sort of applause because I think that's kind of a pathetic because you're supposed to be enfor enforcing what enforcing what that doesn't make any sense to me that's why they're all chasing imaginary power it's a lack of self-respect from that camp lack of self-respect from that camp I don't even know what they do because shit kept happening the whole season so what are you really enforcing nothing nothing and speaking of pathetic let's move on to the head pathetico Marcus that's why this happens to you pathetic and power hungry a terrible combination because no self-respect but thinks everybody should respect him boo all all around bad power hungry without access to power in that first third power hungry with absolutely no access to power I don't know what you want then he got the power the hairline left and now he's dead I don't really I, like okay okay he wasn't doing a better job by any means and like in the first third he kept acting like he was going to be doing a better job but you didn't you completely flopped what, like completely flopped you were basically like Soko's little like lap dog for a, for a little bit and then you switched into full invader mode so I don't really know if you even had a plan for what you were doing because it didn't seem like it and then you shooting echo because because of the orb I guess I just you just wanted to shoot somebody I think it was kind of I think it was just sad and then despite shooting Echo, just like without even a care in the world to him, you point the gun at Caitlyn and think we're all going to take you seriously when you can't, I don't know, I forget what her parents' name are, names are, but you can kill her. So no one was taking you seriously. Literally no one was, it's, it, he's an unserious human being. And that's why he's dead. Tell my daughter I love you. Her daughter would ask you to stand up. For a little bit I'm trying the new NARS light reflecting foundation um, I'm very excited I don't know what this is gonna be like I don't even know if I should use a brush or if I should use a beauty blender I think I should use a beauty blender. fuck anyways next character I want to discuss is Vander that's a good man I th th a good man a good man until the end a good man until the end and you know he can't be I can't really be mad at him for having a deal with you guys um the everything was going to shit and it's nobody else who tried to lead the underworld did so without having a deal with them so I can't really be mad at him for that personally um good man for defending his family until death see that's what you're supposed to do not all the talk the talk the talk you're actually supposed to have some action and then speaking of that when he died i did not see i did not know anything about the show i didn't know the show had like a time jump or was like supposed to be in like a trilogy i guess um i like the time jump because i was watching it and i was like no offense i don't this smells fascinating not in a good way in a chemical way. sorry um one thing as i was watching it i was like are we gonna watch is this show about like 12 year olds I was like I mean it's not to say that a show about 12 year olds cannot be good and interesting but I was like this is it it was not it was not so that was actually one of the first time dumps in a while that I was like like happy about and really excited for Ooh, you see that oh oh I hope it's a it's a good shade this is my perfect shade so I really like that and I do like Vander I have nothing else to say though because he wasn't in most of the show okay next person I want to give a quick little shout out to um don't know your name Silco's lackey with the bionic arm a loser and a traitor just had to get that out there just had before I go down to the important people I just really had to set that straight because you're a loser now Vi didn't win that first fight because this lady took the cheap way out but why was she holding up with you if you're miss tough miss tough girl if so if so I thought you knew better 
I thought you said we were um, um you knew better than Vander so you wanted to go fight I assume if you want to go fight and a bunch of enforcers a like 21 year old wouldn't put up that wouldn't be that much trouble for you but it was that's really tragic why would you have a bionic arm why was she landing any punches on you at all I would be embarrassed and she was and she was stabbing her was low down because you are low down But she came back and cleared you completely, so I don't even need to really worry about that. I don't even need to lose sleep over that. I just wanted to quickly put that in before I get to, you know, the important people, people with actual power. So I just wanted to let you know that you are a traitor and a loser, and you will always be such for the rest of time. All right. Next person is Silco. I d okay. I'm not talking about how I feel about him in terms of like, is he good or bad? Not that. I think he's, first of all, a very passionate speaker. I think Silco is able to deliver a speech with a, is it charisma? I wouldn't call it charisma because it's kind of scary. Chris, charisma can be scary though, right? Um, With such like, you want to listen to him speak. Like when you, even though he's saying shitty shit, He's a good speaker. That's why that, um, I don't know what his name was. They probably did say, I'm not good at remembering names. The guy who was trying to overthrow him, they, he wasn't, you're not a good, you're not as, you're not as compelling of a speaker. I'm sorry. In order to lead a world like that, you need to be a compelling speaker. And you're not. People didn't even want to listen to you. Couldn't even convince the woman that he shows no respect to, to leave. Because what has Silco done for Bionic Arm? Besides, I guess, give her the arm. But before that, she was even with him. So nothing. Um, Vander tried to stop you because you were going off the rails. He won't realize that, but you were going off the rails. And it's so interesting how he clearly has a lot of respect and admiration for Vander and like clearly follows in his footsteps because I thought you hated, I thought you hated Vander for making a deal with the enforcers, but literally within 24 business hours, that's what you were doing. So it, it's clearly, it's clearly not a hate game here. Clearly respect and admiration is what is here, but that that's, that's not, shown by you stabbing him in the back. In the back? I'm sorry. Stab somebody in the face if you're gonna stab them. Stab somebody where they can see you coming if you're gonna stab them. If you're gonna stab them. We get it, you want all the power in the world. Dink shimmer. Trying to kill people, kill people in a place that, um, you know, it, it did chew you up and spit you out. I'm not saying you owe everything to the underworld, but you have a home, you're dangling shimmer from these people's faces, gonna make make them literally go crazy. It's, you're, ugh, ugh. Kids working for you in the bowels of the planet. In the bowels of the planet. I'm getting to that scene where they found all those kids because it's not even Soko's ass that I'm on in that scene. It's not him. It's not him. I'm just, and also, he's in charge, so I, under, he's, so he's a hypocrite, that's why, but you were telling that woman, well, your son, in that scene, your son died for our cause, but you pumped Jinx full of mutant lizard genes because you didn't want her to die from your cause. So I just thought that was really fascinating, but I knew she, that woman didn't know, because I feel like she would have brought it up and said, but what about, what about, what about, I don't know, mutant gecko, gecko magic to save your daughter, but... He died for our cause, the eight-year-old. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. But bye-bye, I guess, because I don't have to see you for much longer. I, for some reason, I just don't think he's dead. Even though he's dead, I don't think he's dead. Even though he's dead, I don't think he's dead. I'm, they, that man who works in the science lab with the gecko, Seems like he could bring anything or anyone back to life, no problem, no questions asked. So I'm not really going to be, I'm not really going to be settling in in Silk Ho's gone yet. I'm not personally a little too nervous. Okay, you don't need to use as much as you think you do. Ugh, that was still too much. It's the Danessa Myers. I use this, I've been using this the whole time. I just always use too much. And then there's too much on my hand and it really bothers me, but okay. Never mind. So that's Soko. Next, we're moving on to this is all the council members, right? Okay. Um, first up, who? First up is a Lorax Heim Heimerdinger. I. That's how you say that, right? Heimerdinger. That that is correct. That is correct. Um, I 
I just think, honestly, he could have been a little bit more, even though he was pushy, I feel like he was just pushy in the wrong ways. He was pushy using a bunch of metaphors and similes and hyperbole and hypotheticals. I feel like he could have showed some real concrete evidence of what he, what he thought could go wrong and they would have believed him. I think, like, they weren't getting it, but he wasn't being clear enough about the dangers that they were in. He was not being, he just kept shuddering and I'm like, you have to make them get it. Like, you have to make them get it. I don't, he was, I think he was, I guess he was putting too much faith into them. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because he's been alive for 300 years. You haven't seen the idiocy of humanity yet? I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't, he loves a good speech of a bunch of words saying nothing. Say what you actually want to say and maybe people will listen to you. Maybe people won't get sick of you and plot to make you retire. All that, all those brains, all those years on the planet and don't know how politicians work. Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame? Now he's gonna use his, I hope his knowledge to help Echo. Don't be taking over Echo's operation. Build the gadgets and move. Like, do you, just, just, like, I, don't make me side with Jace. Don't make me side with Jace, but what is your plan besides a speech with a bunch of words? Put down the thesaurus and pick up, and pick up a notebook and do something with your life. I don't know. I don't know. Don't, I don't like siding with him, but I have to. Apparently, I have to. I just, they, they, okay, they didn't mean to force him to retire. I thought that was hilarious. They didn't need, that was un, was it unnecessary? Of course. I'm not saying that that was like needed by any means, but I thought it was funny. He really said, and you, I think you should leave. And he did. And everyone voted for you to leave. He was sitting there stuck. I don't know what you thought would happen. I don't really know what you thought would happen. Cause they have priority, they have different priorities than you. Uh, is he, he wasn't really involved in like trade and stuff. I don't think so. So, we'll work on that. But nobody here really cares. Nobody on that board really cares about no damn honor. They want their money. Always talk like, I don't know. I, I just really just feel like if he really, like he the vision that he kept seeing of hellfire, I don't know what the hell that was, what he kept seeing, I figure he could have described that, that nightmare or like past experience in more concrete words. So it would have been clear how dire the situation was to not use the hex core magic. I mean, we clearly saw it, just don't even get me started. I'm about to get there in one second. We saw the damage it had done. So it really wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been much of a shock but maybe they just didn't believe it could do that much damage you needed to speak up maybe draw a picture something you guys have magic can't take the vision put it on a painting or something I don't know I get Mel to paint it for you I don't know I don't know speaking of Mel next character I want to talk about is Mel I love a black woman from infinity to infinity that's my I love her of course she said let me she oh that's not the finger I wanted to use she had a plan she said I want the golden boy and guess what happened guess what happened she got the golden boy fuck Amanda I have to blend out your concealer first okay anyways I haven't done my makeup in a long time actually let's try doing it I haven't done it this way in a while let's try it I'll put more blush on after. She wanted the golden boy and she got the golden boy. Now she just wants them to build weapons. You know what? I'm a, that's fine. <laughs> that's, you know, she don't have to be like a good person, right? That doesn't have to happen. And let me just move on and talk about her mother. Um, Her mom just showing up, throwing a bomb down. By the way, your brother is dead and the score apparently is not settled so watch your back like that's a lot that's a lot just be like hey i know i just banished you like a while ago but i'm back now because i need some things for you nope bothering jace threatening jace threatening him planting scenes for a war because your country don't have they don't have the tech so she wants the tech and you know fair however don't get Mel all involved in your commotion, please. Like, 
But Mel said, I want power and I want to be in control. And it's not even with just Jay's. Clearly she's had the whole council, not all of them, but enough of them to win a vote this whole time. Simply a smart politician. I think everyone else just needs to set their cookies up and learn how to schmooze people a little bit better. Because she was able to do it. She was able to turn, like, turn Jace into said, not nah, he was already kind of a golden boy, but turn him into, um, he was, like, s someone who's better at the political game. Better. You know, Jace was accomplished before, but someone had to do something with that. If he was by himself, he would have floundered. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have known. Ow. He wouldn't have known what to do, and that's just, that's just the honest truth. That's just the honest truth. And he needed help, and Mel provided that. Now, I want her to get some power for herself. She has it. It's there. She's doing everything herself. Maybe she doesn't want to be um, in the spotlight. And that's fair, because clearly there's about to be some type of war going down. Also, you guys might be dead. Um, I don't care if everybody else is dead. Mel better be alive. Make it happen. Make it happen. Some sort of force field, some sort of protector, something. We can make it happen. We can definitely make it happen. Don't even worry about it. Because she's not dead. I don't even want to put that into the... I don't want to... Let me... Shh, shh. No. Everybody else is dead. She is alive. She is alive. Too fabulous to die. Too fabulous to die. Anyways, moving on. Next person I would like to talk about is Victor. Um, a really smart fool. I don't want to put too much because I like this like under painted blush look but I want just a touch more but I don't want as much as on this side fudge okay also face looks good I like this foundation Ooh. then there's no powder on my face yet there's no powder on my face whatsoever yet sorry back to what I was talking about Victor is a fool why do I say Victor okay no no clear like I said so him and Jace working together partners you know taking on the world etc 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 but Jace had never shown um, loyalty to their cause. Not for he. It didn't take him. It didn't take him more than a day of being a counselor for him to say we got to focus on other things now. And I know to keep faith in your friend and everything, you want to believe. You know he's not like the others. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He was calling. He was calling the underworld the people from the. She. He was calling them all types of brutes and violent thugs. While you were sitting right next to him. Oh, well, that's the little bit, that's a little bit of the foolish part. Clearly very smart. Clearly, I, I'm i not saying Jace was not involved. <laughs> but it was clear who who was the one who was who was the brainiac behind the operation. It was not him. It was, it was not him. You know what I am angry about? And I'm about to get really upset right now. And it's not even about, it's about, it's related to Victor because he was involved in the situation. I'm, this show is really, really, um, violent. <laughs> this show is really, really wicked and sinister for killing Sky. And not just killing, no, 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 no. Not just killing Sky killing her in that way you know what if she had to die she had to die did she have to die saving him no no hell no she did not have to die saving that man that i don't think you understand i was really i was hurt are you serious if she had to die she had to die but to she was trying to save him from death oh i didn't even understand i don't even understand and I was really she trying to help him and now she's dead now she's dead and can't do any more science can't make any more inventions because he wanted to go all crazy sticks with the hex core and put his blood into some sort of magic orb now she's dead not even death turned to dust not stabbed not shot not poisoned turned to dust I can be upset. I can be upset because I thought that was just cruel. And I thought it was wicked. And I thought it was wicked. And that's the honest truth. Let me do what I'm supposed to do with my concealer. 
uh, let me do what I'm supposed to do because I don't always do that so that's that Victor's also very 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 ill it's just it's just very sad I don't know how the guy that I also don't know his name the guy who works with that with that like um gecko thing isn't dead himself I don't know what on earth he's pumping through himself to be able to work all around those things that are that's killing everybody else. I don't know what he pumped himself full of, but that's kind of scary. Cause Victor is sick. Victor is really, really, really sick. I was so worried. I was so, so worried. And apparently he don't have long, but everyone is dead anyway. Wonder what he's gonna do. Wonder what he's going to do. maybe he will save them but they can't save him i'm just like jace really was like multiple points was ready to abandon your entire moral co code and you both did at eventually at one point make the weapons and that was so he was like it's what we have to do it's what we have to do it's what we have to do super tragic because he had all his faith in him and he oh, but never once never i mean he like said he was sorry about it okay let's just move on to jace and i can just talk about it how I feel about him. Uh, I need to do my makeup in a cleaner way. This is not. Oopsie. Okay. Next character I'm going to be discussing. Let me drink a sip of water. Next character I'm going to be discussing is Jace. It's a little pathetic a touch a touch a touch because i don't like people who like act like martyrs but can't even really stand in their position of what they did if that makes sense like i was like he started the show loser and ended the show still with some of the same issues just he's more respected has more money maybe and likely dead as hell so it's sick that it took so long for victor to realize that he sees people from the undercity as trash and garbage and you're not an exception that that's just the one time it slipped that that time on the bridge is just the one time it slipped that's just terrible um it was interesting to i don't it's not okay he went from like like almost being banished to like um a super charismatic like golden boy of the city nearly overnight and it's like he was a floundering fool with an idea in front of the committee like before i don't know it wasn't like the most sudden um drastic change but he was not he was not at the beginning in the first he was not giving able to give speeches in front of the entire city confidently but he's also like a man so like that's very possible it took him a while to like get like all the little details of being a politician but since the start he's had the flippy floppiness down he's always he said he's had no problem going back from one thing to another thing to another thing to another thing he cannot keep a promise so despite him not understanding the politician's game he is a politician's heart he is a politician's heart he was like he was telling enforcers to search things to search all the ships to read backlogs for illegal shipments doing the about telling them do everything you can and then never mind and then never mind he can't stand in it you were eager you literally when you were about heimerdinger you need to get out of here you were so eager to say that you were talking all kinds of bold crap you were talking down to this i don't like that i don't like but like he was your mentor and let you onto this place in the first you were talking all types of smack about him now it's I'm having a crisis maybe I shouldn't have done I don't know I don't know I mean I think you should just pick what you want to do and stand with it that's what I think you should do I think you should stand in what you want to do and not this not this constant this constant and then make I'm supposed to feel bad I really don't care and then he's like they're under city thugs but I'm having a bad day I'm sorry I said that but they were under city thugs I'm having a bad day then finally, a scene where he killed a kid? Yeah, you killed a kid. 
you murdered a kid you did that you absolutely did that what did you think was going to happen with you bursting into a room with a humongous mega hammer powered by radioactive magic please pl explain it to me like I'm five explain it to me like I'm five what you thought was going exactly going to happen in a situation that was not that I would I would literally I would literally love to know which blush do I want to use I would literally love to know like and don't even talk about it was the heat of the moment daughter because I didn't kill nobody that she didn't intend to she did not kill anybody she did not intend to so I don't know why you why you did I don't know why you did like don't do that this is a vigilante thing but like don't do that because Vi told him off you've been having fun fucking around in that tower breaking all kinds of rules while people have been here sick working in the bowels of the earth making a clearly damaging substance and now you want to cry because you killed one kid you've been sitting by watching kids die this whole i am so glad Vi told him off because he really was sitting there like this is the worst thing that's ever happened what do you think has been happening when you've been tinkering with metal in the tower for these this, this past years years what did you think was going on Oh, maybe he didn't know. He knew it wasn't good. He knew it wasn't good, but seeing one kid die in front of him wasn't... Why do you need to see the death? Why do you need to see someone die in front of you for you to understand that this might not be the best thing for society? Because I'm confused. Because I'm confused. You walked in there brazen as fuck. Now, because you killed a kid. You were swinging the hammer like there was nobody in your way. I don't know what you thought was going to happen. He's not the only fool in the bunch. He's really not the only fool in the bunch. Like, the whole council. I thought y'all hated the Undercity. Now screaming mad because they want independence. It's not gonna, the independence is not gonna help because Silco's, you know. But, and you guys are dead. But now you guys want them to stay? Now I'm confused. I'm a little bit lost. And I just found it hilarious that Jace called giving all power to Silco. He called that peace. Like he referred to it as the peaceful solution. For, for who? For you? In the tower? Sure. Peaceful solution to the people, to the kids you just left? After you killed one of their friends? Who's that, who's that bringing peace to? See? You were just there crying, we have to stop, we have to stop, but giving all the power to the evil man who's making all these kids work and make this stuff and treating everybody like his little um, shimmer filled like dogs is somehow the peaceful solution. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Okay, this is what my face looks like. Um, oof. I like it. Ooh, it's a lot light. It feels a lot lighter than, because my favorite NARS foundation is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It feels lighter on the skin than that foundation did. It does. Okay. So those are all of the, like, 30 plus people. <laughs> now we're going to move on to our faves. First off, Milo and Clagger, that was tragic. That was too tragic. That was too tragic. Was I digging into Milo right before because he was rude to Powder and he kept trying to act like he was better than Powder but he couldn't even win a video game? Yes, I was. But I, but they didn't need to die. Like that, they were about to get out. I Watching it the first time, I noticed they were about to get out, but what, they were literally about to get out and then Powder threw it. about powder in one second but they were literally on their way out on their way out on their way to freedom not really freedom but like not death and powder said i want to help uh what are we gonna do with her i don't know i don't think you can do anything with her okay next person i would like this and i don't really have much about the two of them they were sweet they're dead it's very tragic that they're dead 
Um, next person is Echo. Um, very smart, very smart. Clearly was the smartest, not the, one of the smartest ones there because you follow people. You don't, you shouldn't get caught following people, but you follow people to find out what's going on. Asking all these questions, asking all these questions, follow them. That's how you find. How do you think he knows so much? Follow people, don't get caught. Follow people and you'll figure out exactly what's going on. All this guessing game, guessing game. He can follow them. The rest of you can as well. Their reunion was very, very cute. Um, clearly the most resourceful because he built that whole village. His little um, battle with um, Jinx. First of all, that was a really cool scene. The animation for that scene was very, very cool as it went back to like them fighting as kids and stuff or like battling as kids. I thought that was very cool. Clearly very talented, very agile. <laughs> parkour. Parkour kid. I don't think else to say. I think he was he wasn't respectful enough about like telling um Vi that Jinx is like not the person that she thinks she is. So I feel like he could have been a lot ruder considering like everything he's been through with Jinx and Silco, but he wasn't. He still cause he still had that part because they were like friends when they were kids. So I guess that's nice. That's nice. I have nothing else to say. He's sweet. When I thought he died, yeah, I was a little bit of a mess, but he didn't. And I was so, I was watching it the second time and I was like, fuck, does he die? And I was like, I don't want to get sad right now. He did not. And I was very happy. I'm looking for something. Okay. Lip stuff. I was like, I'm, I am looking for something. All right. Next person I would like to talk about is Powder. Powder, not Jinx. I like to talk about powder. Shouldn't have taken those damn rocks. Shouldn't have taken those damn rocks. That's what we needed to actually be angry about instead of for dumping those things in the river. They were about to kill you anyways. That was a good thing she did. Taking the rocks. Like, what were you guys gonna really do with those expensive things in the river? That boy band was gonna follow you and kill you like no matter what. I know y'all took care of them, but they looked really upset and we know how they are when they're upset. They would have come with some sort of weapon. It would have been just been too much. So that act was a blessing in, the side, in disguise. The torture device in disguise were the candy colored rocks. And I don't know, she didn't need to take all, she was 10 before, she, I know she's 10, I know she's 10. Taking all the rocks is crazy. Putting all the rocks, all the rocks in the bomb device was also crazy. Because did we figure, did it, they figure it out that it had to have been, like she put them in the bomb bug. So she knew that's what blew up that building. Why so many? Not that it would have been any better if it had been like only five instead of ten, but maybe people would, it wouldn't have been that much carnage and death. Maybe it would have been slightly less. Maybe it would have been a slight, slightly less because, um, yeah, that was, no. No, 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 no. She didn't mean to put all, she didn't mean to put all those in there. I mean, she didn't put all those in there. Now, okay, here it went. Here's my mirror. Did Vi need to hit her? No. However, she blew up the whole building, killed their dad and all their friends. Did she need to hit her? No, but she did do what I just said. And some reaction needed to happen. Did it have to be a slap? No, but she didn't die. But it didn't need to be a, it didn't need to be a hit. She did not need to hit her. Now, what did happen after? I thought it wasn't funny. It was actually very sad, but Vi wasn't even gone not three minutes when Powder said that's not my sister anymore. She, I don't even think she, she was gone for maybe, maybe, I'm like, your, si your sibling ain't ever walked away from you? I'm so confused. For three minutes. Y'all don't do silent treatments? Three minutes. Now, that's because of, you know, how she's grown up and everything, and I know that, obviously. But she said three minutes, that's not my sister anymore. That's not my blood. That's not my blood anymore. Like, that's crazy. And Powder, when Powder Powder does not cry. Powder weeps. She like howls when she cries. She puts everything, she puts her literal all into crying. And you know, I, can, I love the drama, but it does hurt my ears. 
it does hurt my ears a little bit. But now we're going to talk about Jinx. First off, Jinx knows how to dress. Jinx knows how to style herself despite living. I don't even know where, I don't even know where her little hideout was. Was that, in, was that at the bottom of a ship? Was it underneath a ship? I don't really understand the locations. I know like what, I just don't understand them in context in, with each other. So she can really dress. When we talk about fashion, Jinx understands it. Like gritty, neon, colorful, like grim Barbie. It's too good. The colors together, I really like the, the aesthetic of her explosions. I really like the colors. I really, I like the little prints. I think it's cute and I think it's like, would make for good decoration. Now the, the killing people, that's, you know, that's, I can say what I want about Jinx. Jinx is exactly how powder would turn out. Like eerily, of course, because the people who can write the show can write the show, but that's exactly how she would have turned out. So I can't even be like, nah, she wouldn't have done, no, 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 no. She would have done all of that and more. And she's probably gonna do more. My first question is, yeah, I know like Silco is like, is like you can do whatever you want, obviously. But Jinx has never been the most like non-violent or has shown that she wouldn't um, use, I'm just in general wondering who handed that mega gun to her? Who handed her the mega gun that she could literally just spray bullets across everybody with twice? Who kept, who, where did the gun come from? Where did the humongous mega weapon come from? Like, oh my goodness. And it's just, when I watch Jinx do anything, I get very sad because she's very, very broken, obviously. Like, she thinks her sister abandoned her. No, she's just in prison because of the, uh, Bozo One. She's just in prison, lost her dad figure and found a new one in literally five minutes, um, but who lives with Mutant Fish and wreaks havoc on the whole place she grew up in. That's really crazy. She killed her friends and now she's building her new friends out of metal who are speaking to her in voices. So I feel, but here's the thing, she, she carries herself pretty fabulously, despite everything that I just said, um, kind of does it with some style, with some flair, does it with style and flair, all of this chaos, chaotic fabulousness, just a little bit, just a little bit. I do feel terrible for her, the one time I did laugh, the one time I did laugh is when she trekked her ass all the way back to wherever their little hangout was to play that video game, like going bananas on that video game to still not beat Vi. I laugh. I did laugh. Here's the thing, younger siblings. There is something you're not going to be better at your older sibling at. It's okay. It's okay. There's something that you're but Do you think, could Vi build these little bug bombs? Maybe if you get, because Vi's very smart. Don't do my girl like that. But um, she can't right now. So it's okay. You're better at something than your sister is. So you don't need to be better at punching because it was never giving that. Even when she was going, I was like, I'm not buying it. Vi jumps building to building. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't buying it. So I did chuckle a touch. A touch when that happened. I am the eldest daughter. I did chuckle a touch when that happened. And I went back to feeling bad again because she, I don't, she's just trying, she was, she wants her sister back, but she doesn't, which is why she wasn't necessarily the happiest. So I mean, how do you respond to you thinking your sister literally abandoned you? And then you just see her. You just see her and you're like, oh, you didn't. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. Like, how do you react to that? That's why everything Powder does, I'm like, why would you do that? But I'm also like, why wouldn't she do that? Like, look what has happened to her. Like, why would you do that? But I don't know what that was. I don't know what, I don't, like, it makes sense. I, the, so I'm using two new glosses today. Sorry, back to makeup. The first one was a Maybelline gloss. I just saw it, like, saw it on TikTok and I liked the color. It was um, in the shade 003 Moon. It's like Fenty Glow, but a slightly 
more like fussy than Fenty Glow. And then I use a new Patrick Ta, something something, major volume gloss in the shade Pouty. I love the applicator on this, the one that I just put on. But back to what I was talking about. She's kind of a genius. She's kind of those 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 little bombs are those bug bombs. Those little butterflies. That's genius. That is really untapped, like reserved genius. To make an explosive that small that can literally fly. She's good at what she does. This smells and tastes like hubba hubba bubba bubba. Bub, by the way. And she's a true drama queen. The like Last Supper scene with those two chairs and she's like, which one do I sit in? I, she lives for the drama and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's tragic, but it's tragic. Yet it's captivating, but it is still tragic. So, you know, of course. I do like, I do like Jinx. Um, let me drink my water before I get us to our last two characters. I like my face. I like my face. I'm gonna keep staring at it to see if I have what I feel about this, about this foundation. First one up is Caitlyn. My, my first thing that I wrote down was LOL. I, like, I do like her. I don't dislike any character except the evil ones, obviously. I do like her. I'm ignoring her being an enforcer. She just needs to control one thing in her life. I don't know why you want to go on and become a cop, but it's very, it's very obviously some serious control issues. And maybe now she got, she's got radicalized. So she said, oh. <laughs> she had to come see the condition. And then she was like, oh, this is kind of terrible. But before she understood that, she was doing a lot of back and forth. Who is to blame for Vi's problems if not topsiders? Please enlighten me. Who else is to blame if not them? The bugs? Like who, what else, what else would be the, co what else is the cause of every single one of her? All the problems can be tied back to topsiders and enforcers and you in your family. I, it's always, we must peace, laugh, love, live, love, happy, boo, boo, boo. I was surprised when Vi, I guess this was her, supposed to show her growth, when she went to the council meeting and was gonna like show the evidence or whatever, because she's always been very just like, we gotta fight these people. And yeah, because what did, what did that do? Not much of anything, because they said, we don't give a fuck about your problems anymore. Now they're all dead, but you know, what else about Caitlyn? I think she's, I don't really have much to say about her. I don't, I, I like her and Vi together. They both are doing a lot with this whole like oil and water thing and they're not supposed to be together. Who said that? Literally who said that? Nobody. You guys are just doing, a, you're doing a lot. Calm it down and everything will be fine. Literally everything will be fine. Ugh. I'm not, she's Miss Bougie. But she's not stupid, cause she knew she wasn't gonna be able to walk around the Undercity by herself, and she liked Vi. We can say she broke Vi out of prison cause she liked Vi, but also she's not stupid. Like if she if she was stupid, she would have walked into the Undercity all by her lonesome and gotten her ass ate up. But she's not. So I, I I will I will be like, okay, I do like you, Caitlin. I do like you, Caitlin. The way like um, in the scenes they would walk together how she'd be going like tip tap tip tap 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 and Vi is just stomping her way down. I was like, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Also, the scene where she, Vi like, when she got stabbed or whatever and was jumping from building to building and Caitlyn said, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just excellence. It's just excellence. And now you gotta match that. I literally would've been like, absolutely not. But Caitlyn was able to do it. She's been training. I don't know. I guess she's really good at that sort of stuff. She's really good at shooting. She's a good shot. You gotta work on your talk a little bit better. I don't, what are they going to do now? Cause her mama is dead. <laughs> her mama is dead. So what are we gonna do with that? She's gonna have to go back to her family. Like, I mean, probably yes. Um, I hope she doesn't keep becoming an enforcer. She probably can. She probably can't anymore. I hope that doesn't go back because we don't need to see that anymore. So she was the cop for a season. Let's keep it at that. Let's keep it at that. She realized it was a corrupt little industry. Let's keep it at that. Let's keep it at that, right? 
Okay, next and the final character I would like to discuss is Vi. That's a queen right there and I don't want to hear any other words. I don't want to hear anything else about it. I don't know what you want me to do about it. I don't know what you think you can do about it. I don't know th who you think you're going to convince that that is not the case, but it is literally not me. It is literally, it is literally not me. Um, stubbornness. I love it. Everyday patience, not everyday, pa not everyday patience. So because look at look at what look look. Let's look at the evidence. Look at the evidence of what has happened to the Undercity. Why patience? Why not be stubborn? Why not be stubborn and show some fire a little bit? Show some passion. That's what Vi always get, and that's actually does Vinx Vinx does Jinx give passion? She's passionate. About, I don't even think she knows what she's passionate about, but. One thing Vi is gonna be is passionate about what she is talking about. Not a flippy flopper, not a change this to this and can't even explain why he wants to change this. Never that, never that. She took, she be taking things very literally, I do the same. She took Vander's message of like, you have to protect your friends and your family as, I must sacrifice myself to these very dangerous enforcers who want to kill anything from the Undercity. <sighs> That's fine. We don't need to blame young Vi because we could she should have taken powder with her. This is she just didn't know. Powder and she knows now. Powder it was more dangerous by herself. Like sitting at home, not I know bringing her there would have been dangerous, but powder is a what is that? A powder keg? A shaking powder keg. She should have brought her. But it's okay. We clearly have learned from our mistakes. We clearly have learned from our mistakes. But she was traumatized. She just saw people getting torn up by a mutant. Like, I think I think we can let Vi live. I think we can I think we can let she was not thinking straight, like it's okay. She would have felt how easy it was to get into the building. She was traumatized and distraught. So we don't need to we don't need to harp on Young Vi for anything. Okay? I hope people are not doing that. Now, Adolphi. Prison? Damn. I don't really... I looked up how long the time jump was, and I keep seeing, like, different sources, <laughs> different answers. So, in my head, it's, like, nine years. That's what I'm going with. However long it was, it was a hell of a long time in prison. And that's incredibly tragic. And she's not even really had a chance to, like work I that's all this punching is her idea of like working out um the issue she has from being stuck in prison for so long but like it might just crash maybe next season which when is that gonna come <laughs> when I don't watch shows like right away I'm like if I wait long enough maybe there'll be a season two announcement when I watch the show they talking about in two years. That's really wild to me. That's really wild to me because I'm gonna need it a lot sooner. I'm gonna need it a lot sooner. Adult Vi, um, is she superhuman? Scaling buildings, punching down watering towers, and signs with one punch, jumping over buildings. It's too excellent. It's really basically Spider-Man. Basically Spider-Man, just really fucking strong. Not even a spider bite. Maybe the water from the Undercity it, it could be, but not even a spider bite. Not even a magic comet and scaling, jumping over, sliding down and build it. Who else is doing that? Certainly not none of these people who thought they could fight all big and bold. Certainly none of them. Certain, certainly not one. Certainly not one. She's just regular, but she's that good. It's a little bit too excellent. When she realized that powder, like, change, like, is like jinx for real when she was just spraying <laughs> spraying bullets was sad was very sad i don't like how vi i mean obviously she's gonna blame herself because like if she was there maybe this wouldn't have happened that's not always true i think jinx would have become a jinx maybe she wouldn't have been access to, she wouldn't have had access to all the resources to build bug moms or build mega super super guns but those issues don't go away Just killing all your friends and your dad your dad figure that's a little crazy that's a little crazy like she you got 
so she wasn't there but I need I need that we need to sit down because it was not your fault yes you were not there but the reason why you were not there was not of your doing Marcus literally kidnapped you like I need I need to sit her listen to me listen to me that's not the reason you were kidnapped stop I can't this blaming yourself it gotta stop I know it's like e I guess easier to be like it can't be that Jinx has just changed on her own and mostly because I left and I did this to her but this is not it's not healthy and it's making me sad it, it's really it's making me sad I need her to stop beating herself up over it because it's hurting me and this is not we need to because Jinx just blew up all the council members so this is by no means over so we're gonna we have bigger issues to uh, not bigger issues to worry about but I need her to heal through that so we can inevitably help this shit show that's about to ensue because she just blew up the council tower right right and also it's the same like martyr shit like um like her touch her being sad about powder and jinx obvious jinx being like caitlin you and i are like oil and water girl nobody said that nobody said you and caitlin can't hang out like she's different and she's like filthy fucking rich nobody said that like caitlin's optimism would die, drive anyone crazy but like you guys are very cute together so maybe maybe it's enough maybe it's enough and just like it's not your fault. You do not have to die or like put yourself on a cross because your sister turned out a little, you know, different than what you thought she was going to be. That's what, that's what me, I don't know how long the time left, but that's what nine years without your sister and without your, and changing your life and having Silco as your dad for a little bit will do to you. I just need her to stop beating herself up over it. Please, you don't need to lay yourself out on the floor. Like, it's okay. You were kidnapped. It's not like you were on a Parisian vacation. You were kidnapped in a jail cell. Please. I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you because it's hurting my heart. So, those are my thoughts. Favorite characters are as followed by Mel. Hmm. Hmm. I get. it i like jinx it's just she's not a favorite character but i do like her i dislike i dislike most of those council members except for mel everyone else can go to hell they're already they're already probably there like they're dead they're dead 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 so that's about it um season two needs to come soon secondly can we get like um aerial view of this city place because it still does not make sense to me how the city is like underground but across a bridge and next to a river i cannot it it's not it's not computing right here so i need a drone foot cartoon video game drone footage of the aerial view of the place so it can click in my head because it's not like it's really I'm really struggling up here to visualize everything I don't like how where the t the tower in the undercity I thought it was underground like I, I, I don't get it so I need help so that's what I ask in season two I, I ask for that I ask for Caitlyn's enfor enforcer uniform to be burned so I can like her character I want it to be burned to it's already it's just not happening again I need that to be burned um can't say too much else because all those adults are dead mel is not though don't even worry about it don't even don't even worry about it. i'm very curious as to what they're going to like make happen with that building blowing up and with like soko being dead now what i just give me season two i don't even need to say anything i just want to see it i I didn't like the animation style at first, but after like a while, after a while I started to like it and then rewatching it the second time, it actually it's really pretty and it makes sense with like what the um, show is about. It was just off-putting at first. I don't think I've ever watched something, question mark, with this style animation before. That might be a lie. It might be true. Not really sure. Um, I forgot to set my face. I'm not going anywhere, but I wanted, I got the new Charlotte. Ooh. 
it's not new, but I got the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray because people said uh, that this is a really good one. That smells like old lady. Oof. Oof. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Arcane. Let I don't know. Um, I haven't seen like discourse about this show, so I hope I didn't piss nobody off. But those are my thoughts on Arcane and all the characters. I really enjoy. I really do recommend it to watch it. It's really, really, it's really, really good. Um, it's. I think you should go into it blind because that's what I did, not knowing anything about it. I thought it was. It was like I had no expectations, but it like exceeded my expectations. I had no expectations, but I was like, this is way better than I thought. And I really did like how it was, I really did like the time jump, and I really did like how it was set into like three separate parts. And when you go back and watch the first part again, it's just like, oh, it's too good. It's too good. Um, Jinx, we're gonna find somebody to help you. I don't know where we're gonna find somebody to help you. Maybe we can use those little portals and get somebody from somewhere else. We will find, we will find a way to help you. It's, uh, it's all right. It's all right, cause I don't know. There's Marcus is dead. Do you think they already have a new chief of enforcers or whatever to like? Um, what's the word? Charge Jinx with anything for blowing up that council, or can she just go into hiding really quickly? Cause I don't want her to go to prison. He was really. He really said, give me Jinx, one person to put in a jail cell, and I will give you all the power in the world so you can abuse all your constituents from till the end of time. Miss Golden Smart Boy, Mr. Golden Smart Boy. All right. All right, so those are my thoughts on Arcane. Um, my thoughts on this foundation, I really like this foundation. I really like this foundation. I have not worn it outside yet, and I'm not going to today, so. Maybe, this smells like lotion, this Patrick Ta gloss. But yeah, I had fun. I think the foundation looks good. It's a NARS foundation, so they usually always look good. Um, it is very, very light. The NARS, the, the natural rating is also very, very light feeling on the skin, but this feels like there's literally nothing on my face whatsoever. Whatso whatsoever. I really like that. I liked the beauty blender. I think if I put the blush, use a brush, I don't know if I would have liked it as much. I don't know. But I really am enjoying this. I really am enjoying this face. I think it looks good. I didn't feel like taking my scarf off today. I literally got out of bed and filmed this. Um, I like it. I like it. I didn't use this. I used only one of my blushes that I usually use to give like a brighter brush look, blush look. Really enjoy it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on Arcane, what you like to see in season two, if you have any ideas, cause I have none. Cause that was some crazy shit. I don't have anything crazier than that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much again to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.